see you on the internet, I want to die How did God let something so retarded come alive? But the way you moving like a fruit fly, that was a pie Give it one year, your career just won't survive Bitch, I cannot lie, every time I see you on the internet, I want to, want to die When I see you, when I see you, I want to die So here's the other way you can do it is you count off, right? So like you say one, two, three, and like we go through it like one, two, three, four. So like you would say one, that would say two, I'd say three, Lucas would say four, and then you've got a four second lead in. Okay. It's kind of cute. One, two, three, four. Clap. Clap. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this All right, is this thing on? We're all f set up. <laughs> so as I was saying, I'm really enjoying the FRS, and I've been removing mods. The the, the, the bullshit the like, thing you should do. Yeah, the bullshit caliper covers. They are off, and they're listed on eBay. Nice. Feels good. It's a blast yeah. to drive, though. I'm really glad I bought it. How long did it take you to take those calipers off? Like three days. And Firestone <laughs> did it for free. <laughs> So what did Firestone say? What would like? What did you tell them, and what was their response? I was like, so I was like, hey, I need to do like a full inspection and make sure it's good. Also, it has these red caliper covers on them. He's like, yeah, we'll remove those. I didn't even say to remove them. He that was the first thing he offered. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <awesome. pretty good. laughs> he knows. <laughs> oh yeah, I got you. Say no more. <laughs> say no more, fam. I have. That's really cool. Red... They did it for free. I have oh, these yeah. red caliper covers. Say no more. <laughs> Say no more, sir. Yeah, we uh, we went for a rip. We went for a Toyota cruise. Was you guys sick? Touch, did you guys touch Toyota tips too? Oh yeah, yeah, dude. Well, I mean, we didn't actually hit each other, but yeah. <laughs> nope, that was a blast. And then yesterday, well, Sunday morning when everybody's at church, I was driving around all like country roads and shit. Yeah. And it was sweet. And all I wish is that it had Android Auto, because I want maps. That's, you all, don't that's have, the only thing I want in this car. You don't have Android? Uh, well, oh, mine had Nav. It didn't have Android Auto. This doesn't even have Nav. It's just like some sh touch f***ing radio. It sucks. Just chuck your, mu chuck your phone into your glove box and don't even think about it. I just I like to visually see, you know, the world on a map. Eh. Especially when I'm driving around unfamiliar places, because I don't go south of like the suburbs because there's scary people out there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> there's scarier people to the north of the suburbs. Yeah, yeah. So I have like a small zone that I'm comfortable with and don't need maps for. <laughs> Dude, go over to like southern Illinois and drive up like Route Three or something. Like, there's some good routes over in the farmland over there, and they're oh, yeah. really fun. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, you get it's... On, a, on like that bridge that's like south of us. You cross that, or are you talking about go through like the city? Um, no, go over like the JB. This is or, real yeah, good yeah. Midwest. Shit. <laughs> yeah, well, go like over the JB it's, bridge it's, and yeah. f just find a road off of like Route Three or off of Two Fifty Five. There's all kinds yeah. of. Shit. It's great. It's, I've been it's, exploring. It's, it's a good time. It's the Midwest problem, right? Like as soon as you leave the city and like the suburbs, all it is is just farmland. Like, and but that's not just your state. That's like all of the states here. Yeah. I mean, it's not really a problem, though. It's kind of enjoyable to get out uh, there and just f***ing rip. No, and like, so when I used to drive down to Ohio to visit select OEM customer in Ohio, uh, you take back roads the whole way. Like, from my my house, you take I-75 south to 68, you know, which turns into, like, 33. Basically, you're just heading to Columbus. And it's all just straight two-lane cornfields and uh in the th five years four years i traveled down there regularly i maybe only saw a cop once oh that's it's... not bad so we, we got a lot of hills where we're at so like the forested hilly roads here are a lot of fun. right yeah and that's All not like and stuff it's yeah crazy. and that that's pretty cool too like forest stuff like i I'd like tale of the dragon is one of those places that like i've seen it i've not actually done it but it's like in the middle of the forest and that's what makes it cool right yeah
But this thing is so much fun. I am glad I basically impulse bought an FRS. Yeah, I think you made a pretty good purchase. Good Not much else to say about it. It's just this just fun as hell. It is just pure sports car. There's no bull. It's not the most powerful thing in the world, of course. But like, no, there's, but, not, you know, there's nothing else there. It doesn't doesn't hold your hands. Yeah, but how many how Drive many it. how many professional car experts, reviewers, whatever you want to call them, have said in some form or another? And I'm gonna use the Jeremy Clarkson Clark quote because I love it the most. There's something just special about driving a slow car fast, right? Like a rent, like yeah. a rental car on the rails is so much more fun than you know something super powerful that has all that handling i think it comes down to actually being able to use like the available power or whatever at the risk of being a meme because people say that when they don't have a lot of power yeah but, like, like, <laughs> <me out of laughs> it, it, but it, it, i mean it is something to be said for like if you got like some kind of 500 horsepower monster you're going to use 20 percent of it at any given time you know so right. and the worst part about that is in dodges um performance packages right like in my car uh there's a page in the performance pack a page quote unquote a screen that shows you real time how much horsepower and torque you're using and like i've looked at that a couple of times so i don't i don't super believe in it but like if that's to be believed like you're never using more than 200 horsepower during your commute <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's you know that's um I don't know what I want to say here, but yes, I agree that like having a lower horsepower car and being able to just like redline the thing constantly yeah. is really fun. Um, I've never owned anything with more than like 220 horsepower, so I can't really speak to like, you know, the radness of driving like a GT500 or something. Yeah. But still, like the car Atlas is like can. screaming at you and you're only going 40 miles an hour. It's f***ing awesome. Yeah. Right. No, I love like just putting in like second or third and just ripping past somebody at, like wide open throttle. <laughs> it's a really nice yeah. feeling to do that to minivans. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, and that's you better a... hope they don't do it back to you then because they'll pay. <laughs> yeah, I lost to a what? Kia Optima the other day and it was so <laughs> <f> embarrassing. <laughs> well, and so here's the other thing about that too. But right? you had more fun than he did. Oh, that, yes, probably, <laughs> and more shame. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the other thing about it too is especially in your commute right like how many people are really going that fast like uh, driving through the city driving through detroit all the time the number of times that i've been passed by just an absolutely clapped impala or a malibu or something like that doing 90 while i'm doing like 80 in the fast lane is just insane like yeah it, and it's like it's kind of a low-key cringe when when you see people like really fucking speeding, it's like, dude, what are you doing, man? Like, that is are... really fucking cringe, dude. Yeah. Um, when we were, uh, Vukos was showing me the FRS the first that day that he had it or whatever, and I'm driving it, and we're on the highway, and I'm getting off, and I downshifted to like maybe fourth or something at like maybe seventy. Like it wasn't aggressive in the least. I feel like I'm really yelling into this microphone. No, it sounds good. <laughs> no, you sound fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Um. But yeah, like I'm just downshifting to get over and get off the highway, and this dude in like a 2005 Charger just flies across all four lanes and is just hovering off of the back bumper, like he is filling up the entire rearview mirror. It was just, absurd. Yeah, just aggressively, angrily, like, trying to, I don't, I don't know, like, trying to get me to speed or something. But, like, when you do that, it makes me uncomfortable, and I'm not going to respond to it, because it's just asinine. <laughs> I'll, I'll go slower. Yeah. Especially, if, especially if I'm in the f***ing right lane. Like, dude, I'm, I'm in the chill lane. Like, what are you getting all hot and bothered for? You couldn't handle that TRD exhaust, bro. <laughs> I know. <laughs> No, and that's that's the thing about it too, right? I typically I would say I'm thinking about it now. Typically, I'm not one of those people that like it is for lack of a better term, there's no easy way to bait me into like flooring it and going after you because I, I fully have the ability in my daily driver, but mm -hmm. it's just one of those things that I'm so used to it now that I don't I don't notice it. And I'm that getting, could just be 
culture they're not necessarily culture that could just be a like a location thing right like that kind of stuff happens in detroit all the time it's not even like a big deal like some dude comes flying up on you doing 90 and you're doing 80 well let the guy pass man come on (laughs) depending where you are here the exact same thing happens constantly like it, it really depends on where you are on the highway like certain parts everybody's chill other parts where there's a lot of temp tags and there's a lot of broken windows <laughs> <Thunder all dome. laughs> dealer plates there's it, yeah it's f-ing thunderdome like people are just out of their goddamn minds and it's because they're not registered and they don't have insurance and they're just trying to get home or something i think but i don't know man like it's it's pretty wild here too it's wild here here in el paso a lot of it is is people are really dumb and just don't know how to drive at all. <laughs> and so if, and everyone wants their own lane. So they, when there's not really that many cars on the freeway, they'll create traffic because nobody can stand the idea of someone being in front of them, you know? So it's like, Oh, this guy's in this lane. I'm going to get this lane and match his speed or go, you know, be, be maybe one car length back and then match his speed or one car length in front. Yeah. It's like people can't mm-hmm. grasp the idea of, hey, why don't you just drive behind somebody that you're going the same speed as? It's yeah, like that's a completely some, lost idea here. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, like someone being in front of them is like, no, that can't be because that makes me a bitch. Like, like, dude, what the f- just drive, man. I, while I understand how annoying that is, I'm also that person. <laughs> I have to get over in the left lane and get around everybody. Yeah, I've uh, I've been that person. I'm not gonna say I haven't, but the, there are well, and so that's it. Too, if I'm right? going faster, yeah, I'll go around you. But if I'm if I'm going the same, if I'm going the same speed, I, whatever, I'll just drive behind somebody. Well, I really also I think it really depends on where I'm at my drive, right? Because lately, given the whole pandemic situation, I'm not driving as much as I was, and nobody is. So like that first, I don't know, half hour, 20 minutes, you leave, I leave from the house, like with that 20 minute radius around my house, I'm driving a little bit more aggressively just because like I haven't driven in a couple of days and I really like the way the car sounds. So I want to hear it. But then like you get to that point where it's like, okay, this is all over. I know how to drive again. Like I'm going to be a normal person. (laughs) Right. But uh, I'd say there's a good 20 mile radius around my house. If you catch me within 20 miles of my house and I just left, <laughs> forget it. The 20 mile zone. Yeah. <laughs> the only other FRS thing I want to mention is the uh, I got the Continental DWS 06 tires. They're pretty sick. Man, thanks, for the, thanks for the recommend. I was driving yesterday in the, the hills of Missouri. I got up to some, I don't know altitude and it was actually like snow and shit and it handled, it handled just fine on that too so it's pretty yeah. cool ah. and carvana is actually gonna pay for them too which completely which is, surprised yeah. me in case what? you guys didn't catch that earlier yeah they're they're paying for the tires i why i called them to complain about the one tire that had like a gash in it the front right had a gash for some reason um and all the other ones were like 532 tread whatever you want to call that Basically, yeah, yeah, whatever. How much of Lincoln's face is that on a penny? Yeah, <laughs> they're basically due for being replaced. I think, I think Lincoln's head is at three thirty second, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so, I, if you're Google, I know. I, I called them and I was like, "Hey, these tires need to be replaced, but whatever. I already bought new ones. However, the front right has a gash. Like, what do you guys got?" And I waited two days and they sent me an email. They're paying for the entire like new set of tires. Nice, dude. I'm genuinely surprised. I expected nothing. I expected them to tell me to f*** off. Hey, I'm going to say um, congratulations <laughs> on buying uh, all-season tires. Because yeah. as someone who does not have all-season tires <laughs> and has I already you spoken have to of... go into uh, work now. Yeah, yeah. it f***ing sucks. Um, I'm afraid to use the highway. <laughs> like, legitimately, <laughs> like it scares the at me. speed. Yes, it does. It's horrifying. Um, Damn. So all season tires in winter, if you need them, uh, good idea. Yeah, and well, back and everything I've I, ever said. And that's what I said originally was for winter tires. I I always recommend all seasons, especially if you live in a climate where um it's not snow twenty four seven. Like, if like you live it, it'll Canada, vary. Yeah, like if you live in Canada, then like get winter tires. But like the upper parts of the North America here, 
we've had like two, three decent snowstorms so far. The rest has just been cold weather. And like, I got those thick tires. Yeah. I can run. I can. If run you want to put a new visual on this podcast, we besides got. a screaming anime man, that's Shinji, <laughs> and he's going backwards Shingo. in his EG six, bro. Oh, Shingo, fuck. Shingo. I'm cutting these are no out, dude. <laughs> these are no Zeons, but they are Continentals. All right, hold on. Let me get this over to Firefox. That was a throwback <laughs> to a previous episode. It, well, and so that's the other thing, too. Like, if anybody's going to ask, so for, for all seasons, right, the DO, yes, but if you're going to ask my opinion on like a summer tire, the Pilot Super Sport 4, always get the Michelin. I'm really looking yeah. forward to spring so that I can f- use my car again. <laughs> it's coming up. <laughs> there it is. So, oh, what have you been driving that? to work then? Like, I'm driving the MR2. I'm just scared. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it's the weird. fear of death in him. You like uh, VWs? Hey, you got to read this one, that gear. I can't ben, read this. Yo, so ben Checa este. este. Come and check out this 2002 Volkswagen Battle with <laughs> low miles, Battle. only 73,000, and uh, a low price, only 29.95. Check before. Check before it's too late. Uh, there's the address, uh, or or call for more information, and they put their number, and it got taken away. Thank you. Thank for you for your, your time. Oh. Yep. Cool. It is a 2002 Volkswagen TDI. The uh, Beetle. Beetle. They New make Beetle. these in TDI form. They made two God, cool versions of these. Car. This one's a piece, but they made Holy two good sh- versions of this. They made the TDI. And they made a Turbo S. And the Turbo yeah, S is kind of badass. S. I, I've i driven a Turbo S. And they're peppy, I will say. I'd drive one. I mean, I think they're really cool. Um, you know, the, I don't know if I could do it. It's, it's kind of a love it or hate it style, right? Either. Yeah. But, I, you know, you just don't see many Beatles anymore, to be honest. Now that I think about it, you I've just don't seeing, see a lot of yeah, them. Yeah, you don't. I've been seeing a lot of the newer ones, like the latest gen, and, like, it bothers me how close they look like 9-11 at first glance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Like, oh, sick, there goes... Oh, never mind. You, the, the, Beetle, the Beetle's one of those cars where... Gee, like when they, when they first came out, the design was so advanced, you know, so futuristic, that they aged like garbage. Yeah. <laughs> Ahead of its time and way behind the times now. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. I don't, they don't make it anymore. I know that, but man, I like them. It's I like the new Beetle. I like the uh, like the '90s, 2000s looking one, like these. Um, I don't know if they've just grown on me because I'm nostalgic, like regular car reviews, or if I genuinely think they look cool. But I don't hate these at all. Like I, I would totally drive a Turbo S, maybe a TDI. Not this one. It's got, yeah. got quite actually, a dent. <laughs> I'm, am I Googling it? Are they discontinuing these? Yeah, they stopped making yeah, them. They don't make, yeah, they stopped making oh, them in 18 or 19, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, uh, they're done. They're just making like CCs and all that shit now. Yeah. The Atlas. <laughs> no affiliation. The, the crossover. <laughs> yeah. God, that's so weird looking though now. Yeah, it hey, really it's... is. Well, and so that's how, the thing too. It's how flat it is on the side is what's weird. Yeah, yeah. they really and are. I'm so used to I'm so used to seeing these as like buggies too, right? Because the the beetle is a common platform to turn into a sand rail, and just like looking at a normal one that's like on the road is very weird. <laughs> what is a front wheel drive sand rail like? <laughs> a lot of them can convert to the rear, but you're talking more like the, like the old like super beetles. And yeah, all, right? yeah, like the old super beetles. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not into those. Like, I get it, no. but eh. yeah, they're definitely niche. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this one's an automatic, but you know, it was a TDI and it was in the daily deals, so I clicked on it because, hey, Beetle, um, this one sucks, so let's move on. It's <laughs> <laughs> don't buy this. No, don't buy this one. It's a piece. This one's sold, but this is one of I think Vukos's. Oh. Yeah, an ion red line. Uh, I, oh, these are 
These are badass. Um, I'm not going to bullshit you. I like these a lot. Uh, a buddy of mine had one. My first roommate, actually, he had one Hold of on, these. Pause it there, though. Like, what is what is this? Yeah, it sucks. What's with this instrument cluster? It is <laughs> cancer, <laughs> dude. I mean, That's listen, it's still a Saturn. Let's not... That's what not... Call a world car right there. A what yeah. car? A world car. Oh, yeah, you could just rotate that a little bit, make a right-hand drive. <laughs> yeah, it's like, put the, put, put the steering wheel on either side, and it'll work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's... Yeah, like this is, this is still mint this early 2000 gms right here this entire thing inside and out looks like a turn of this century sony <laughs> stereo <laughs> yeah it looks like a sony explode <laughs> head unit um look at it yeah. yeah but look at that body kit from the factory right i mean consider the year 2004 fast and the furious right. tokyo drift is about to drop in theaters <laughs> Saturn's Saturn like, yes, let's get on this. Everybody got this on was this. The, this was this was the everybody era. got the on Focus it, yeah. SVT, this thing, the Cobalt SS. Cobalt uh, I was gonna SS. say this was the precursor to the Cobalt. Yeah, it was. It was out at the same no, time. It actually, came out at the same time. Yeah, it's it's it actually the, the exact same, same car. When when did the a suicide doors? Too. When did the SS start? I, I think they're all the I same years, like 2003, 2004 to like 2007. The only, the only or so. memorable. The SRT four. No, the only. The only memorable date that I know for the Cobalt SS was 2008, and that's when they switched from supercharged to turbocharged. I didn't know they made them yeah. that long. Yeah, this is an oh, early yeah, one. they made it forever. They, they, there, was, there was SS Cobalts that were like four-door, and they looked normal as hell. Yeah. And they were turbocharged. The Ion did yeah. not look normal as hell. It had three doors no. the whole time. Does I'm this thing sure. come factory supercharged or like this like red line yeah. edition? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. red line. Was oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, excuse me. This so, one does have four doors. Um, yeah. Let me tell you a little story really real count? quick. Um, back in the day, um, 2006 or so, my first roommate at the time bought one of these, brand new. Uh, he had joined the military, and that's what you do when you join the military. You buy a stupid fucking car. Um, oh, now yeah. it's like chargers, but back oh, then, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, it's just chargers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back then, he bought an Ion, and he bought an Ion Redline, and we drove that thing from here in St. Louis all the way out to San Francisco, down to L.A., and then back across the Southwest. And Jesus. we burned the front tires bald doing that. <laughs> <laughs> drove it down the PCH, and by the time, like, okay, we get to the PCH, and we had just been cruising the whole way. Everything's cool. Get on the PCH, drove down to LA from San Francisco. By the time we got to the end of that thing, we had lost like half the tread on the front tires because we were just ripping this thing. It was so fun. That supercharger, I mean, it's not bullshit. These are fun cars. No, and GM had the supercharger game on lock for a very long time prior to the early 2000s, right? Like the 3.8, they supercharged that early, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And like GM knew what they were doing when they were around with a supercharger. Yeah. Like, I don't know which came first, the ion or the cobalt or the supercharger or the turbo, but this thing whined and it sounded badass and it ripped. Like it was just instant on power all the time. It was fun, dude. Like, I think that these are severely undervalued for what they are. Like this one's a piece, obviously. Like look how corroded yeah. and shitty it is. But like you find a nice one of these you could probably get it for like four grand, five grand. Ninety one. GM said it's supercharging their motors in ninety one. What car? The Buick Park Ave Ultra. Oh hell yeah, dude. Yeah, um and actually, yeah, that's some other stuff that we actually get on the feed, like the Buick Regal GS. Um that's the, that's supercharged, a, I think. Or, there's a link to a yeah. lower mileage uh, Yeah, the Re the Regal ion. GS. The Regal Regal GS was supercharged and they're, the, they're all like the 3800, at, right? Yeah, the 3800. I'm pulling it up. Look yeah. at this clean one I just linked. Uh, the Riviera, the I, I think it was the the, the, the uh, Riviera, uh, like 97 yes. to 99, something like that. Yeah, yeah those the, are some legit sliders. The Impala SS, the Monte Carlo SS, yeah, the Bonneville. Cool. The this ought to be Green. totally drivable today for only for 3500 Let's take a look around. Got Recaro's in it. Maybe with Recaro's. Recaro, Recaro, however you want to say it. 68,000 original miles. $3,500? This is Yeah, but uh, this car just looks good in red. I don't yeah, I do house. not hate this car. Like honestly, no, pretty no. badass. Yeah. It it's 
put the hood you know yeah. back to normal yeah d- take out the washers <laughs> on the hood hinges yeah paint the wheels silver yeah but yeah yeah i i on red lines are slept on yeah for real that what was what was the the suv the view yeah the, Saturn the, view, the, red, the line? view red line we get those too hold on hold on let's make sure that everything's working what on else the old can you feed. buy for three thousand ish dollars that's supercharged nothing isn't just trash. nothing you, you could buy an <laughs> sbt focus gm you buy you buy a mid 2000s gm that's what you do oh we don't get the view never mind let me look them up real quick and we should really tell somebody about that, huh? <laughs> Nobody gives a fucking shit about the view red line. I'm not looking. <laughs> and it's also there's a load of these red lines that are like, oh, this actually has <laughs> nearly two hundred thousand miles. Never mind. Well, damn, these things have been driven to hell and back for real. How? You know what? They'll never rust. I wouldn't hey, would... have <laughs> yes, guess like a super supercharged engine would last forever there you go there's one. Oh yeah down yeah. down left yeah i got it kind of ugly oh this is an xc also this is not a red line yeah go back there's one more oh, down and left of that uh here i don't think down and left god damn it where down. no or, down. oh it was that one yeah, yeah it was supposed to be this one that's not a red line the red line has like these flat square headlights right go to the one to the right of that one then this thing. Are people getting two hundred thousand miles on this? None of these are view red lines. Oh, that's charger. not even a fucking view. I don't think that's like a Buick. <laughs> to the internet. God damn. Yeah, they had that big square. Wow, great picture. Yeah, God yeah, damn yeah. it. There we go. There we go. Wow, look how look at fucking square that is. <laughs> it's really square. <laughs> but I think it's the same engine as the uh, Ion. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, 100%. It should be. Let's look it up. Hold on. Like, all the ones I'm seeing on the feed are approaching 200k on on superchargers. That sounds pretty damn good to me. It's a reliable car, I'm sure. Um, man, they, right, they only have go. facelifts on here. This sucks. There's one. Ugh. Um, V6, 250 horsepower V6. Okay, so it's not supercharged. It's just yeah, it's not the yeah. Just something. Um, yeah, it's just a V6, 3.6 liter. Um, Damn. Not that interesting. I'm actually impressed. GM can make a supercharged engine and it, like, it lasts. Let me... It was a rally edition of the Saturn Ion. Pull... Oh, okay, let me look that up. Damn, this thing's sick. The hell is this? Huh? Dude, what did you even click? We just had the most amazing family vacation. I'm killing myself. Oh, wait, actually, this is a I'm this is a concept this. that GM made. <laughs> but I think uh, I saw it's not as cool as a, a real thing. Just it, it, it it's ugly. Okay, you got to give GM it that it's performance ugly. division. What the red line or the view <laughs> or both? Both. both. Of them. Yeah. Look at that supercharger slapped but, on the front of that motor. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Haggard. But yeah. I mean, it's a, it's, it's front cool. Wheel drive burnout. It's just something that makes you smile uh, about a front oh, wheel man. drive burnout. Yep, <laughs> they are a little silly looking for sure. Um, but I love the wing on them. I just like that like mid two thousand styling, dude. Yo, this was a hundred percent fascinating. I'm not. I'm not that. there yet on this 100%. styling. It's gonna be a while. I don't know why they, this they, is they, happening, they, but yes. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, look, they look so much longer than the cobalts, also, which kind of it's the size of the sedan. Look at this thing rip. That'd be a fun car, dude, especially for $3,500. Oh, yeah. for sure. Okay, yeah, Saturn Ion Redline, or uh, you're not gonna get an SRT for $3,500, but a Saturn Ion Redline, or like a SVT Focus, which me and Brock have both expressed interest in. Red Redline uh, all day, 100%. The Redline is a lot more, you're gonna get a lot more car. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're getting a supercharged engine. Yeah, then... that's a steal. I mean, I'll bet Cobalt's and, go and, for a bit more, and, huh? it, and it beat it beat the R34 around the ring. Is that true? Really? Yeah. It might, might be. I, I, I where? Know. Where do? You, are you just bullshitting, dude? <laughs> <laughs> there, there is, there is an infographic that goes around the internet about the Cobalt SS beating the R34. No way. Around the around the ring. All right, hold on. Let me find that. 
Usable Cobalt SS, Nurburgring, R34. Officially official. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Dead links. Press release. For God's On sake. sale. Here, here it is. Here it is. These combination enabled the Cobalt SS to set a new class record while circulating the famed Nurburgring racing circuit, posting a time of 8 minutes, 22 seconds, 0.85 seconds. That's a okay, respectable time. Four time. 822 for the Cobalt SS. R34 Skyline Nurburgring. It be a, might be hard to get stuck. 82810. Does that what Go back. Yeah. Where do you see Go that? Go to the page. Nurburg Nordschleife. God, I'm blind. 82810. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, dude. <laughs> Can you imagine losing to a Cobalt SS? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to do it for this episode of Collector Car Feed Podcast. Thanks to our sponsors, H Genuine. That's H Genuine.com. Use offer code FEED at checkout for a special offer. And Outworld Systems for all your refurbished electronic needs. OutworldSystems.com. Links are in the description. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>